Yo guys, I just woke up and uh, I am seeing something quite interesting on the today's in other news part of the updates for Thursday. Look look at this. The chance of encountering scavenger beasts within race now scaled based on the initial average combat level of the party. The higher the average combat level, the higher the chance. I should have a higher chance to see scavenger beasts. So I've done quite a few raids now after uh, they updated the scavengers and let me tell you I've only seen small scavs one time and I've done like seven raids. All right, here we go. Oh my god, what? I actually got a drop. Wow, dude. Dude, the dexterous scrolls keep coming, man. Damn, how much is that nowadays? Still 70 mil. Okay, well, that's my 11 dexterous scroll. Wow, dude, freaking Dexter scrolls up the booty, man. I, I tell you. Holy shit. A lot of money right there. Ooh, Clue Scroll Elites. Delicious. I think this is where I'm gonna stop my uh, Zoro grind for today. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do Zoro again tomorrow, though. But yeah, really nice. I'm enjoying this fully decked out setup, you know, with the. Uh, Construction cape and Buhar and all that Really really nice. Of course. I got my Venge as well. So Jag has brought out a quality of life update You can now toggle your ammo to equip when you pick it up instead of you know going to your inventory, which is pretty nice So I'm just gonna turn that on automatically equip it. Yep. Oh No, they also have one for magic as well It goes into your room pouch slot if you have it. So yeah, might as well put that in there, too I'm pretty sure I have 7,000 now. Yep. Wow. That's a lot of dragon arrows. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm gonna try to practice Inferno at least once a day. I'll try my best to keep up that schedule. And I'm gonna be practicing on my main account just because I don't want to blow through all my, you know, precious supplies practicing when I can just do the same exact thing on my main account. So I'm gonna keep practicing on this guy every day until I feel confident enough that I could, you know, try to do it for real on my Iron Man. There's one last thing I forgot to mention regarding the uh, construction grind. So from all of the teak wood cutting that I did, I got a lot of bird's nests. Look at that final product. It seems to be about 280 bird's nests. Wow, that's really good. Oh, uh, first good money drop coming back from uh, Corporal Beast in a few months. The Onyx Bolts, dude. I can now uh, start collecting again, you know, rebuild my beautiful Onyx Bolt stack. That's going to be nice. Yo, this is so nice. You can pick your bolts up even with the full inventory now with that new update. So now that I'm back to doing a bit of Corp and Zora with the uh, construction cape, I am using Vengeance quite a bit. And in order to sustain my Vengeance use, I need the runes. So instead of buying the uh, Astro runes, I decided I'm going to go ahead and just uh, craft my Astro runes instead because it's actually pretty nice. I can craft quite a lot of Astro runes in just one hour. So I'm getting about 7,000 Astro runes right now an hour which is pretty good i mean you know otherwise i would be buying it i mean i think buying it would probably be a bit faster but this is not bad at all seven thousand hour is really solid so that's about 31k uh room crafting speed an hour so i just gotta do one hour of astro room crafting every once in a while and yeah i'll be able to use my vengeance no problem for bossing oh well whatever Okay, I just hit 900 kill count at the raids. So, if I can hit a thousand before summer's over, that'd be a pretty crazy. But yeah, that's that's it. 100 more, and then I hit quadruple digits, dude, in the raids counter. I wonder if I'll get any more unique items by the time that happens. I want to show you guys my food stack that isn't in potions, since I am doing corporal beast again. I do have to use actual food that's not Saradon and Bruce. So thank Jagex for the ability to gotta thank Jagex for the ability to fish crompons because they're so easy to do now. So that's amazing. I actually managed to fish five thousand in no time. I mean it's really 
chill so yeah it's perfect afk for the summer but yeah i got five thousand now so i'm just gonna cook all these and i should be good on food for corporal beast for quite a while like even past the summer hey check this out just got 96 fletching so so just thought i would spend a little bit of time afking some fletching while i am uh, watching a bit of shows but yeah slowly working uh, down on my magic longbows that i've made a long time ago but that's cool might see 99 fletching in the future okay time to recuperate then oh nice first kill of the day i got myself a spirit shield oh damn 10 Ranar seeds i totally forgot corp actually drops those although i have like <laughs> so many i need to start i think i'm gonna just gonna start farming these because every kill i use about two prayer pots so i guess eventually i'm probably gonna need to farm some again but yeah how many uh, renards do i have shit that's a lot of renards all right here we go just got 88 mining so decided i'm gonna be alternating of course between uh stuff like mother mining and quambon fishing and some angler fishing depending on how much afk i need you know when i want to relax so recently i decided to switch back to adamant darts just because my rune darts are starting to run low i blew through over like twenty-five thousand of them in yeah the span of the summer so i need to be a bit more careful with that but it's okay i'll slowly be getting back my uh, rune aura supplies for mother low no problem so for now i'm going back to using adamant darts they're not much worse than rune darts of course and i have a ton of these like i don't really care where i use these you know because if i want to make more i can that's like 100k plus rune darts worth uh in auras right there so that's good but yeah soon enough i'll probably be able to get back to using rune darts once i stock up again from the mother load oh my god dude wow that is insane how do i get so many dragon throne axes goddamn dragon throne axes i am definitely done with raids for today actually this is number six number six dragon throne axe drops wow god damn no other stack besides prayer scrolls are this high out of all my race drops man insane with so much time left that's a good kill oh onyx bolts okay that's my second uh, onyx bolt coming back much appreciated yeah, let's get some rice types for a chapel, dude. For the host. Ooh, your host came through with some good RNG. Second on exposed today. That's my third overall drop. So I have been practicing the Inferno once a day, like I said on the uh, past episode. And uh, currently, I'm on my sixth attempt. I just finished the sixth attempt. And um, I made some pretty good progress. I actually got to the uh, final wave before the boss. The final boss. I got to the triple jab. And I was doing pretty well on that. But uh, before you know, I talk about the jab part. I just want to talk about the transitioning. So currently, from you know where I'm standing, I still need much, much more attempts uh, to really get the infernal down. Uh, especially because I'm using the armadillo crossbow. I really need to master the ability to save my supplies, almost all of it, towards the end. Because when I got to the jab today, I had about five restores and about four brutes. And I know which parts of the Inferno I made some really dumb mistakes. So I can probably by tomorrow, maybe, you know, save my inventory up to like maybe uh, five brews and like six restores. So there's still a lot of work in that department, just, you know, going through the waves without actually using my supplies. So that's going to be the most challenging part. As soon as Triple Jazz started, I wasn't even shaking. I was really, you know, calm. But yeah, I got a little cocky. Which, you know, I will note that and, you know, try to pay more attention during the triple jet for the next round. But yeah, honestly, just the uh, waves from like, I would say 50 to 63, those are the toughest waves because that's the part where I have to sometimes panic eat my brews and, you know, panic drink my restore. So that is certainly going to be the most challenging part, honestly. Not even, you know, the jets. And I'm not sure about the final boss yet, you know, I'll talk more about the final boss once I get there and start practicing that with Armadillo Crossbow, but at least for now, my main problem is wave 50 to 63. 
those need much more improvement and I hope to uh, you know get really good at those in the next coming days so let me show you guys my progress so far in some of my major goals like raids so currently I am at 922 raids uh, the past few days though has been a bit uh, shitty because servers has been very unstable and unfortunately I lost out on three raids due to disconnect so it should have been at 925 easily also on the items department here's the graph I got an additional dragon throne axe my six one and also an additional dexterous prayer scroll which is my 11th one which is really nice but there's also another mini pvm goal that I want to add and it involves the new gargoyle boss that's gonna come out I don't know maybe tomorrow if not tomorrow probably like next week but yeah I have a solid plan for that boss when it comes out I want to get that orb thing that the gargoyle boss drops so I can add it to my vandal boots to turn it into the best in slot defensive boots so I will have an actual legitimate pvm goal for uh, the gargoyle boss when it comes out so talk more about that you know when the updates there anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's episode i hope you guys enjoy the video as usual if you are new to the series and want to stay up to date with progress from this character feel free to subscribe to the channel that way you know exactly when the next episode will come out and i hope to see you guys soon with another video hopefully in less than a week all right take care